Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel, Diamonds and Washi. My name is Katie, and if you are new here, hey and welcome. I hope you'll consider subscribing. And if you are back, welcome back. Black Friday weekend is not over at Diamond Art Club, and I cannot believe that I have this kit to share with you guys as part of their Cyber Monday releases. Yes, Cyber Monday is happening at Diamond Art Club. You've probably already seen a sneak peek from me here on my channel uh, as part of Cyber Monday, and I think this is one of the ones that's going to be one of the last ones for the day, and I am just floored, and I feel like everyone is just gonna be absolutely losing their minds with excitement that uh, this artist is finally here. Um, and actually, I say finally, but it hasn't been that long since she's been in voting. You guys, Margaret Morales is here. The one and only Margaret Morales is at Diamond Art Club. And the noise that I made when I saw this kit, <laughs> I adore her artwork. And I am beyond curious to see how it looks with Diamond Art Club's whole style. So. Um, the name of this piece is Dragon Spirit. So I'm like, hello, dragons, Margaret Morales. This kit has my name all over it. And yes, I am very strongly considering starting it immediately. Diamond shape round 22 by 32 inches or 55.8 by 81 centimeters. Absolutely stunning and dreamy original artwork. This kit, along with the other Cyber Monday releases, I believe are coming out tonight at midnight, but I need to double check on all those details. And so I'm going to put an update in the description box below of what times those are and time zones. I also would suggest taking a look at Diamond Art Club's social media previews they're doing for Cyber Monday. They're going to have the release times in there, and those are going to be the most accurate and up-to-date release time. So I'm filming this a couple of days in advance. And so I just am not, I'm not sure. It just came in. I'm excited. So let me get into it though. So we have pink branding here for their round drills and there's some brand, there's some info in the back rather about how to diamond paint your kit contents and a discount code. You can scan this QR code for that. Now, I don't know genuinely what discount or special Diamond Art Club may or may not run for Cyber Monday. It is quite possible that it is going to be a better discount than any discount codes you're going to see in this video. So I'm sure they're going to advertise that, or at least it'll be posted when the releases go live, like it was on Black Friday. We didn't know the discount amount until the releases actually went live. So uh, just that that probably is going to be where you're going to have to check. <laughs> um, but if you happen to be watching this in the future and you want to save 20% off your first purchase from Diamond Art Club, if you're thinking of making your first purchase, get some Margaret, Margaret Morales kits. Uh, I do have a 20% off affiliate code you're welcome to use. That is just my name, Katie, K-A-T-I-E, and the number 20. And it is an affiliate code, so I may make a small commission. Don't feel obligated whatsoever to use it, but thank you in advance if you do. I always put that straight back into my channel. So anyway, you guys, there is a basic toolkit that's always included with your diamond painting kits from Diamond Art Club. They do have a just a very small variation between their round and square drill kits. Um, the If your kit comes with round drills like this one, it's not gonna come with a pair of tweezers. The pair of tweezers only come with the toolkits that are for kits that have square drills. You're gonna get a pen and a squishy. The color on those is going to vary. You're going to get a bag of baggies in case you wanna store your leftover diamonds in there, you can. We have some pink wax and a little caddy here. You can um, take these out and you wanna make sure you peel back that plastic film before you try to load up your pen. And then we've got um, a couple of thin plastic multi-placers, which you can pop in the end of your pen if you wanna try your hand at placing more than one diamond at a time. We have a tray, and this little piece here is actually a tray stopper that you can pop in the end here. Stop your diamonds from sliding out. And then we've got a roll of washi tape, which the print on these is gonna vary. I have a video dedicated to how, where, why, and when I use washi tape in, regard, in relation to diamond painting. I'll point you in that direction if you're not sure what to use washi tape for, and hopefully that'll that'll help you out. And then you've also got a cover minder. Now, ultimately, Diamond Art Club is has announced that they're planning to discontinue these. I'm not sure when that's gonna happen, uh, but sometimes the magnets are coming off the back and that's just been a little bit of a quality control issue, so they're, they're doing away with it. But coming up with some other solutions and, and alternatives. Anyway, though, if it does come with a cover minder, there's magnets on the back. You can use it to hold back the plastic of uh, the area you're working on. And the style on those varies as well. You hear me like rushing through this because I am dying to see this canvas. <laughs> anyway, we also have a smaller sticker here. I use this in my paper logbook once I start on a kit, which is probably going to be, you know, in about 20 minutes. <laughs> and I like that it has the title, the artist's name and the artwork and um, some stuff. Stats. Some people use this on the side of the box to help organize their stash, or you could find something else 
crafty and creative to do with it, if you like. All right, without further ado, got to take a look at this, you guys. This might be one of the more highly anticipated artists that Diamond Art Club has licensed with. So <gasps> look at those dragon scales. Wow. Oh my gosh, look at her face. Wow, that looks so good. Oh my gosh, sorry for the glare, you guys. Look at that, let me move this out of the way. Okay, so real quick, if your canvas is wanting to curl back in like this, uh, you can actually just roll it backwards the opposite direction, Diamond Art Club uh, canvases, the material and the glue. This is not going to hurt it whatsoever. Um, you can just roll it backwards really easily. Don't mind this. <laughs> I forgot to wipe off my table before I started. I got a little excited. That's not Diamond Art Club though. I don't want you to think you're gonna get a dirty canvas. Anyway, that is gonna help it lay flat nice and quick. I, I cannot believe how good this looks. Holy cow. Okay, I've done Margaret Morales kits um, from a company that has now since closed, so I don't feel bad mentioning it. Um, and just already the printing on the canvas for this is blowing me away her skin tones. Like I just am, um, my my optimism is like really, really high right now. <laughs> I am so excited to see how this is gonna turn out. She looks incredible, you guys. I know the Diamond Art Club's rendering team works super hard to hand chart their canvases and they are very aware of um, the excitement surrounding Margaret Morales and I'm sure they are gonna absolutely have tried to do this artwork as much justice as possible. Let me show you what else is included really quick. So we have some diamonds here. We will take a closer look at these in just a minute. I wanna show you what else was included and we'll look at the canvas first too. You're gonna uh, get a pamphlet here that has um, some info about what's included in your kit. Here's a beginner video, which I have one as well that you're welcome to take a look at. It'll be linked below. Here's the VIP Facebook group. You can scan that code to get there. That's a handy resource for once you've made your first purchase. Some step-by-step -step instructions written out for you and then some tips and tricks and yet another discount code. And then here's info about the mobile app, which you do get 20% off your first purchase through the app too. We have this larger sticker sheet, again, Dragon Spirit by Margaret Morales, the spot to write your start and end date. Here is that stunning original artwork. Uh, to my knowledge, this one has never been released elsewhere before. And so I am, I just, oh, I love it, I love it. Here are some stats down here again. And then over here we have a set of, these are pre-cut sticker labels. I'm about to use these when I kit up this kit because yeah, it's gonna happen. I think, I think I'm think i deciding right now. I'm gonna kit this up and get started on her right away. So these are pre-cut sticker labels, you guys. And so it'll just be really easy to kind of peel these off and, and label my storage containers. And then in the right-hand column here, we have the color code system. This is by and large from the DMC color code system, which is from the DMC brand of Floss. Diamond Art Club's numbering system has a couple of key differences I want to point out though. First, anything under the number 150 is going to be a special kind of diamond called an AB. So we're going to have two AB colors in this kit. And then you guys take a look at the bottom of this list. So um, Ecru is just, um, that is a shade of off-white. Um, that is just a regular drill color, but just whatever reason the DMC color code system doesn't give this like a number. It just calls it Ecru or maybe Ecru. I might be mispronouncing that. More importantly though, down here, one, two, three, four, five, six different other special drills down here. We have three other types of special drills. So first, ones that start with the letter K. That is gonna be a kind of special drill called an electro diamond. It's gonna have a metallic finish. Then we have three that start with the letter L. That's gonna be an iridescent diamond. So uh, three of those, I think L is in light, like iridescent is light, uh, like has like a light effect. And then ones that start with the letter Z are gonna be a special kind of diamond called a fairy dust diamond. This is so many special drills. This is almost every single special drill type that Diamond Art Club has. The only one that's missing is glow in the dark. <laughs> but I don't know that I've worked on a kit before that's had ABs and electro and iridescent and fairy dust. Um, Hello, <laughs> I wanna see where those are gonna go. We will look, but after we've looked at the canvas and looked at the drills, we'll come back and I will, we'll find together where all these different special drills are gonna go. 
Let's go on to tour the canvas though. So we have their branding at the top, Do It Makes You Sparkle, Diamond Art Club. The edges of the canvas are scalloped and finished. You're not gonna have to worry about any fraying. I've never had fraying on a Diamond Art Club canvas. The backing is really soft and plush and the material of the canvas itself, it just has a really luxe weight and feel to it. It's It holds drills really well and lays flat beautifully. And uh, they also use a nice poured glue on their canvases that's very sticky and this clear plastic cover works well and everything too. Then we have a color list here at the top left. I don't think I mentioned this kit is going to have 64 colors in total, including all those special drill colors. We'll also have a legend or color list over here at the bottom right. At the bottom left, we have a thumbnail and then we have just a recap of, you know, Dragon Spirit is the name, the size, and then copyright so you might have heard me mention earlier that this piece is legally licensed from margaret morales this means that diamond art club both has permission from Mar from margaret morales to use this artwork as a diamond painting from them and is fairly compensating her as well so all of diamond art club's artwork in their kits has been legally licensed and that's super important to me because art theft especially of really popular artists like this is really common and I, I hate that you see Margaret Morales' work being stolen and so I'm all about supporting companies that are doing right by artists. Here we've got um, their socials if you want to stay up to date with their previews and whatnot and um, there's another discount code. And here's info about their lifetime warranty. As long as you're the original owner and purchaser of your kit, you are covered under that lifetime warranty, which includes if you happen to run out of any diamonds, have any trouble with the glue or the canvas, you can contact customer support and we'll get you taken care of. They're really responsive. Um, so looking at the canvas up close, this is just, <laughs> this is amazing. I am just giddy. I'm giddy with excitement right now. This is so exciting. I'm so happy. The printing is really clear on the canvas, of course. And I am seeing we do have some areas of color blocking like here in her skin. Um, color blocking is when you have lots of the same color in a small area. You'll be able to use, have this color in your tray for a while and use your multi-placer if you want. But a kit like, uh, artwork like Margaret Morales, I feel like is going to call for a good amount of confetti. Now confetti is when you have a lot more color changes in a small area. Don't mind my cats if you heard that. Um, more color changes in a small area it means you'll be changing out the color in your tray a little bit more often um, and maybe single placing more but I feel like that really can lend itself well to this kind of softer rendering style. Like look at, oh my gosh, this dragon. The dragon's eyes, like just the textures and softness in here. I'm hoping that the confetti kind of really hand charted confetti that's going on is really going to lend itself to Margaret Morales's art style. Here is her absolutely breathtaking face and the skin tones. That's something that I feel like Diamond Art Club does beautifully well. And so I cannot wait to see Margaret Morales's artwork done uh, with those skin tones by Diamond Art Club. These gorgeous flowers. Yeah, there's a good amount of confetti and I'm stoked to see it i think that is i'm really really i think that is going to help um, and do this artwork justice really nicely love the dragon scales oh my gosh yep yep it's happening we're kidding this up after this you guys <laughs> um i forgot to grab my tape measure i'll pop a note up on the screen just if it is not true to size but diamond art clubs canvas is almost they almost always are so i'm not really worried about it um Let's look at these diamonds. I've got to see these special drill colors that are in here. There is a sticker on here that tells you what kit these go with in case you store these separate from the canvas outside of the box that they came in. So that is convenient. So there is our color spread, you guys. Camera wants to focus on, on the, the face of the artwork behind us. So um, these are round drills, like I mentioned. And they come in these heat sealed bags with the DMC code printed on the packaging. And lots of shades of gorgeous blue going on in here, you guys. Diamond Art Club does make all their diamonds in house. Oh, hold that thought, you guys. We have our first special drill color, 125. Now, this is one of our AB diamonds, and AB stands for Aurora Borealis. These diamonds have a really gorgeous um, coating on them that's very iridescent, almost rainbowy in effect, and is really striking and really draws your eyes to the areas that they've been charted. I wonder if this is going to be maybe in like the dragon scales or something like that. I'm not sure. We'll take a look. There's a lot of gorgeous blues in this kit. So I love that we have a blue AB to start us off. 
And then, ooh, we have two bags, you guys, of Z3865. This is our first fairy dust color. Let me zoom you in, because this is a really subtle effect that sometimes is hard to see. Um, and if you take a look, these diamonds have a really fine silver glitter coating on the top. It is subtle, but it does stand out beautifully from other diamonds. It's a shimmery effect. These are actually my favorite special drill type that Diamond Art Club carries. I think they're so incredibly pretty. And they do have a more subtle effect than ABs do. But yeah, two bags of this white fairy dust with a straggler in it. Some more blues. Lots and lots and lots of blues, you guys. Yeah, so Diamond Art Club does make all their diamonds in-house and their, their round drills, I feel like, are really faceted and have a, like a twinkly effect when they're on the canvas. And I'm so curious to see how this one is gonna look with round drills. I hope it's gonna lend itself to kind of the softer effect of Margaret Morales artwork maybe. So this is Ecru, you guys can see it's just a regular off-white drill, drill color. There's, no, there's not like a specialty coating on it or anything. It's just what the DMC color code calls that one. I wonder why. Feel free to share if you know why. <laughs> that could be common knowledge, especially with like cross stitchers maybe. Uh, so we have some earth tones in here. Ooh, here's our other AB color, our second of two ABs, 107. That's a cherry red AB. Flower, probably, maybe in her lips. We'll take a look. <gasps> Love that, so vibrant. And some more browns and other earth tones going on in here. And here, ooh, here we go, so L. 783, we had three different iridescent colors in this kit, and this is the first one. Iridescent diamonds have a crystal effect um, where, yeah, you see that effect? The mirror that you're seeing is actually the back of the diamonds, the flat part of the diamonds, that's what goes down on the canvas, covers up the symbol, and really helps with the reflective effect of these iridescent diamonds. I love these, this one's kind of a yellow. L783. And here's our other special drill type, you guys, K444. This is an electro diamond, and these have a metallic effect. You can see how these just look like little pieces of gold. It's different from ABs, it's different from iridescent. It's a really different effect. The yellow, the bright yellow you're seeing, that is the backing that goes flat down on the canvas. It's the metallic gold is what we're going to be seeing. I do love a metallic, and I don't feel like we see these a ton in Diamond Art Club's kits because they are they have a really particular effect that doesn't go with everything, but it's a showstopper when, when it is charted. Man, it is gonna be hard for me to keep track of all of these special drills and make sure we don't miss any when we're looking at the canvas in just a bit. Here's our next iridescent color, iridescent color L728. This is a more pale yellow compared to those are really close to each other. This one's a little bit darker. The one on the left is just a little bit darker. The one on the right is just a little bit lighter. And then we have our last iridescent color, L780. This one is definitely darker. It's more of a, almost a topaz, like a hint of peach to it. That's the darker of the three iridescent colors. And we should have another fairy dust. Oh, I see it, okay. Yeah, these are the colors we just have the tiniest handful of, you guys. Here's our, that should be our, yeah, that's our last special drill color. Z743 is, an, is our other fairy dust color. So we have the white fairy dust, and now we have this yellow fairy dust. See the glitter coating on the tops of those two. So pretty, just a little bit of those. We'll find out where those go. And there's our whole color spread. All right, you guys. So we're gonna start at the bottom and I will do my best to try to make sure we find where these different special drill types are gonna go because there are a lot. Just a reminder, we had two ABs, the red and the light blue. We had one electro, which was the gold. We had three iridescent, which we had the two shades of yellow and the topaz. And then we had two fairy dust. We had a white fairy dust and a yellow fairy dust. So down here at the bottom, we do have some red ABs in here. We have some red ABs in here. And then we've got uh, the white fairy dust is in the dragon scales. The white you're seeing here is white fairy dust. 
And then we have some of the blue AB and some of the dragon scales as well. And then we have, let me see, what are our symbols for these? Um, iridescent and electro. That's what I'm worried about missing. So down here, so um, there are some symbols that are on her arm here. If you notice, there's some that are going to be up on her shoulder as well. Down here though, you guys, we have all three. All three of our iridescent or crystal colors are going to be in here. Um, it's the letter T, the triangle, and the, wait, 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 wait. Oh, okay. No, actually, okay. That is going to have fairy dust, and three iridescent and one electro. Okay, so the fairy dust, the yellow fairy dust is, oops, you can't see. Okay, fairy dust is the letter T. The electro diamond is the check mark. And then the triangle, the heart, and the no symbol, just call it the no symbol. Those are the three different um, iridescent colors. So like the lighter yellow, the slightly darker yellow, and then the topaz. <gasps> So that's, I, that's gonna be in, that's gotta be in the rest of the symbols that are on her as well. Okay, so at least I know where to keep an eye out for them. <laughs> uh, looking at the dragon scales as we go up, you guys, it looks like the dragon scales by and large are gonna have both the white fairy dust color and the blue AB. So the number two is our blue AB and then the black dot on the white background is our white fairy dust. And then this background back here is white fairy dust as well. And the number two, we have the blue AB, white fairy dust. And the number one is our cherry red AB. Um, oops, just, <laughs> just dropped something. It's fine. Yeah. All throughout the dragon's body, we have white, uh, fairy dust and some blue AB and that continues over here. More white fairy dust here. And then on her shoulder. Yeah. We have all of those special drill types. We have some of the, the lightest yellow you see is the yellow fairy dust. Then we have the three shades of iridescent. Um, uh, yeah, all three shades of iridescent in here. And then we have the metallic electro diamond as well. So these symbols are gonna, oh my gosh, that's gonna be so pretty. That is gonna stand out beautifully against her skin. I am in love with that. That's gonna be amazing. We have those same special drills in the gold symbol on her neck here, as well as over here and a little bit of the uh, peeking out here over on her shoulder. The center of the dragon's eye has those special drills as well, including some white fairy dust in the center. <gasps> I just got even more excited. <laughs> I am so happy. This is going to be amazing. We have lots of white fairy dust again. Um, that is basically the true pure white that you're seeing on the canvas is that um, that white fairy dust color all throughout. Tons of it going in the dragon scales as we get up on the dragon's body. And I see chunks of the blue AB in here too. So that's going to glisten beautifully. Now in her lips, we do have some of the cherry red AB in her lips. We have some of the white fairy dust in her eyes, but otherwise her skin tone appears to be free of any other special drills. It's just in her lips and a tiny bit in her eyes, which I do like that. I'm very hesitant to see any special drills in skin tones. Exception obviously being when there are deliberate markings on her skin here. Um, we have, this is um, the dark topaz iridescent crystal is this little accent in her hair. And then we have, this is white fairy dust, this white line through here. As we keep moving up, we're kind of here up at the top now. These flowers do have, yes, a lot of the red AB in them. It's the number one. And then the yellow triangle you're seeing in here, that is one of our iridescent colors. It's the only iridescent that's in there. Um, and over here again, we have plenty of the, the red AB in this flower. And then this, this part of our headpiece here, um, the check mark is the electro diamond with the metallic effect. You guys can see as we're up here at the top too, this black dot on a white background again, that is all white fairy dust. And then this number two is all blue AB. You can see those colors, the number two and the white uh, and, and the black dot on the white background, white fairy dust, blue AB, all in those dragon scales. <gasps> oh my gosh. <laughs> my jaw is on the floor. I would say I'm speechless, but really I can't stop talking about this because this looks incredible. You guys, I have to see how this is going to turn out. I have to see how Margaret Morales' work is gonna look with Diamond Art Club style. This is an incredible kit to be a part of kicking off Margaret Morales at Diamond Art Club. And 
I just, you know what? I really strongly have a feeling that as much as I've seen people talk about this artist and how excited they are for her kits to release at Diamond Art Club and asking, when are these kits coming? Um, I think this is going to be a quick seller. And so if this is going to be on your shopping list, you're going to want to have your alarms set. Now, just like I mentioned earlier in the video, I don't know right now the exact release time. I was told midnight Pacific time, but I do not know if that is for everyone or if they are breaking it up between Diamond and a general release like they did for Black Friday. So I'm going to point you again both to the description box of this video as well as to the social media previews Diamond Art Club has been putting up. That is going to give you the most accurate and up-to-date information um, <clears throat> and let you know just how to go about shopping for this absolutely stunning, stunning, stunning kit. Let me give you a quick recap. This is Dragon Spirit by the one and only Margaret Morales. It has round drills, 64 colors, including a whopping two ABs, uh, one electro, three iridescent, and two fairy dust. All the special drills. Um, and is a really good size, 55.8 by 81 centimeters. That is completely manageable, especially with round drills. I, yeah, I'm gonna keep you guys posted. Follow me on Instagram and subscribe here on YouTube if you wanna um, kind of see my progress on this one and see how she turns out. I will absolutely do a post review and show you how this looks and share my honest opinion. So thank you so much to Diamond Art Club for sending this over for me to share with you guys ahead of the Cyber Monday release. Thank you so much to you guys for watching. Let me know in the comments. Is Margaret Morales one you've been waiting for? Is this on your shopping list? Are you super stoked? Or maybe is this just not quite your art style? Go take a look at the other previews for Cyber Monday. I think there are gonna be some beautiful pieces coming out and hopefully something for everyone. So you guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope you have um, an absolutely amazing day and best of luck shopping. And I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.